I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers and today I'm going to share a project with you using the Heat Wave Pen. This tool is a lot of fun. It allows you to add custom foil accents to your projects. You can personalize them, you can hand draw them, or you can also use the stencils we provide. We've got um, sentiments, we've got pretty designs and flourishes, we've got alphabets, so that gives you a lot of creative options as well. Let me point out a few features of this tool. It runs on batteries, so you don't have to worry about a cord or how long it is or whether it stretches to where you need it to be. So it's great for on the go crafting. Um, it also has this light that turns on when you flip the on switch, when you power it up. And that just lets you know that this is a hot tool and not to grab the tip when it's on. It also helps you to see better as you're working with the tool on your project. So there's also a cap that goes on and that um, has a feature that holds down your switch so that it doesn't accidentally get turned on and melt or burn anything. So today I'm going to show you a scrapbook page that I created using the Heatwave pen. I created a little tag right here with my title using the Heatwave pen and a template. So I'm going to show you how to make this tag. And I added it to a scrapbook page, but you could add the tag to a card or tie it onto a gift wrapping, um, however you'd like to use it. So I've already started by cutting out a tag using our nesting tag dies, and this is the second smallest die. So I'm going to tape this down to my surface. And let me talk about my surface for a minute while I'm at it. I like to use my glass cutting mat when I'm working with a heat tool because then I don't have to worry about melting or burning anything. So that's my favorite surface for heat. So I'm going to grab some washi tape and just tape this down. Now I love to use washi tape for this kind of thing because it's not really high tack and so it won't tear your paper but it also holds it down for you. So we'll just use a couple of pieces there. And then I'm going to take my foil. So we sell uh, different colors of foil. They come in four by six sheets and they are to be exclusively used with the heat wave pen. So there's blue, there's red, there's silver and gold and pink. And that gives you lots of fun options. You can buy them in single packs or multicolor packs as well. So I'm just going to place this right below the part of my tag where it shows the edges so I know where I need to place my template um, or my stencil onto the foil. Then I'm going to grab some washi tape and I'm just going to tape it down so that it doesn't move around as I am using the heat wave pen. I'm going to just put a piece here at the top, kind of just right along the edge so that I can use the, the pen up there. And then I'm going to pull it kind of taut with my fingers and put some tape down here and do the same thing on the sides. And that's just going to help you get the best application of the foil. So I'm going to use this word right here on the stencil U and I'm just going to center that on my tag towards the top. And I'm going to hold this just like a pen or a pencil. And I'm going to hold my stencil down nice and securely. And then I'm going to kind of try to work with more the end of the pen. And you don't need to push really hard or go really slow, just more of an even pressure. And you'll want to try to avoid pressing too hard against the sides of the template so it doesn't move out of the way. Now, I don't particularly care for my handwriting, so I love to use these stencils. But if you have nice handwriting, this is such a fun tool to add hand-drawn accents or words or somebody's name to make things more personal. Okay. We're going to just gently pull this up. And you'll want to hang on to that foil because you can get a few more uses out of that for sure. So I'm just going to place that to the side over there and pull this tag up and then we'll finish it off by decorating it and embellishing it. So I've got a little strip of paper 
here from the Wildflower Collection. This is a beautiful collection that's got lots of florals and botanicals and fun prints and colors. I love all the blues in here. So I decided when I chose the color of my foil that I would use the blue so it matched with all the pretty blues in this collection and kind of contrast well against my yellow tag. It also has some beautiful stickers and ephemera bits um, with gold foil accents. So using the heat wave pen with this collection is um, a perfect fit. So let's pull off. Well, first let's stick this down. So I'm going to add this strip of paper down at the bottom of my tag. It's kind of an anchor. And then we'll add some of these pretty stickers. little flower there. I've got one of the ephemera bits. It's got gold foil accents on it. And I've put some uh, foam squares on the back just to add a little dimension to the tag. I really like to do that, especially with butterflies. So they look like they're flying. So I'll put that there. And then we're going to pull a little sentiment sticker down here. Straighten that just a bit. Okay, and then we'll add another ephemera bit to the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to punch a hole in the top. Just center that. There, and I've got some ribbon. My favorite way is to fold it in half and to thread it through the back of the tag. And then you can use the loop and put the ends through and just pull on that. And you can trim the ends shorter if you'd like or leave them long, however you'd like to do it. So there's a tag with custom foil accents using the heat wave pen. It's such a fun tool that you can use to personalize and customize your projects with beautiful shine and sparkle. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.